Hey guys, well, part two, I guess. Um, actuator's working good. Both says hi to everybody. Um, so I initially had a crank handle up here, and I tried putting a motor on that handle because, unlike others, my worm drive, my worm gear on the crank handle was actually part of the shaft. It wasn't a piece that you could take the shaft off and attach a motor to. So first I tried hooking it up up here and we'll just call it a massive failure. It it was wobbly and it was binding on the motor and I knew it'd end up blowing the motor out. So I took it off, scrapped it, put the handle back on because if the motor does go, I want to be able to just quickly go back to the crank handle. So I shelved the crank handle. Can add that back whenever I need to very simply with one bolt. And uh, so here's my motor. I'm going to build a cover for it. Uh, plastic cover just to keep the snow on that out of it. But I got the shaft facing down. Mind you, uh, I got a quote on the electric rotation. And it was $800 for a freaking electric motor. And the only problem was I had it figured out for the cranks up here to turn. So I had to kind of play, I couldn't find a, a shaft that would fit it, or a uh, sprocket. You know, and it was just a guesswork trying to figure out with those teeth and what size sprocket. And by God, I had an old fish cutting board of uh, UHMW plastic that was half inch thick. So I got all my connectors and I... Made my own sprocket out of that plastic, that hard, hard plastic. I still got plenty of room to cut fish, but more importantly, I just used a grinder and drew a five star. I thought four or five teeth would be kind of enough on the speed because I knew my, I had 160 uh, RPM on that. Bo is just all excited. On the shaft, and I, the, if I had too many gears, you know, it was just going to spin way too fast, but I didn't want it spinning slow. So anyways, ran my wires up, so I got them going in here to the plug, just like I had before. Now let's go to the other side. Okay, so now the shaft goes straight down. I angled it back. I just welded them brackets up, used the two bolt holes here um, to mount it that were there for the their motor. I got it at a 45, or not a 45, but I got to lean back at an angle so what little snow will run back. It's mounted directly to that plate. And then uh, I just welded, I just grabbed some inch stock, flat stock here, bent it in a 90, put a hole in it, and kind of eyed it up so that the my uh, little homemade gear there, will, or sprocket, will line up. It's half inch thick, so I got plenty of uh, room, and um, as much as I like my old switch, I had to put another switch up here, so... I got now my chute, and then I got my rotation. So, here's the old, oh, I know, buddy. So, we still got that going on for the deflector. They wanted, I believe it was about 700 for a deflector. So, I got, I said 320 before, but it's actually 220 for that actuator, and... I expedited it because I'm only home so many days, so I needed the, uh, I paid an extra, oh God, it was, to get it there on time was like 50 or 60 bucks from Washington. But the the actuator itself is 220 And then I got a couple mounts because I didn't know what I'd need, and I ended up not needing them at all. But here's the, here's the biggie, the rotation now. And it stops. It's a momentary, so. And that noise is just those big gears hitting, you know, but there is no plastic chipping, no nothing, and 
Everybody knows when the uh, wind changes and wants to give you a face full, you can't uh, you can't rotate it fast enough. And I think it's going to slow down, you know, with a load, a little more of a load on it and cold. But that does the, I mean, it, it comes way over, but you're almost shooting yourself. We're not into that. But, yeah. Um, I don't know. We'll give her, we'll give her a test, but... The motor's nice and straight now, the shaft's straight, so nothing's nothing's in its way that way. And we can um yeah, just control everything the way we want it. Eighty-four dollars for the motor and uh, I got an extended shaft and just a couple of connectors, so if we want to call it a hundred bucks compared to eight hundred. And those two bolt holes that mount it, if something were to go wrong, I just unplug it and I can throw my crank manual back in in two seconds and you can see those three holes. That's where I had it mounted before and it'll just be a scar of lost causes because that wasn't going to work and a lot of wiring. I got the, all the switches but here's my old electrical box or welding box cover so that's still covers everything but I'm pretty happy and somebody's whining mm -hmm. I know both who wants to have a beer and watch football who doesn't so anyways that's uh yeah she's ready to rock and roll uh mid 40s here in Wisconsin so waiting on our snow like I said guaranteeing we ain't gonna get any I'm okay with that too I guess wow somebody is Really whining here, but um, yeah, well, just want to give you a heads up. I talked about toying with it, and it bothered me the whole week at work, and now it don't bother me no more. I got a uh, <laughs> hold on. So for the cover, I kind of got this old two-gallon jug of ground clear, but size-wise. It's kind of would fit, you know, cut the top off, put her upside down, notch it out, and I could bring her so she sits right above that, and I can bring it down here, whatever, you know, that, that old uh, jug here. I don't know. And then uh, each side here, my mountain bracket, just a couple screws in and a little notch out for the for the uh wiring but just to keep the snow you can see the chute comes up higher you know so it's not in the way but uh and it just you know it's a it's, it's the elect electric motor that i got but it's uh it's rated for a like a car seat motor you know it's an electric car seat motor so they're strong and uh, like I said, this was 160 RPM because I'd counted the how many cranks the handle took to go around. And so I had that speed down pretty good and just had to figure out, you know, I was going to make maybe a four tooth sprocket or a three even, just depending on to slow it down if I wanted to. But yeah, I got thinking, heck, this is working. Leave it alone, right? So I did. Okay, that is about all I've got for today, but uh, so far so good.